what up guys welcome back to another paris vlog this is part two of our paris series so we're gonna take you guys to amazing food spots that we've been checking out and so far let me tell you guys the food has been absolutely amazing and not just food spots but just like random little non-tourist spots that you might also enjoy Honestly, I feel like every street we walk on in Paris is just historic. I mean, this is one example. We're just walking here. We come across this building that looks pretty old, but then I didn't realize it'd be this old. 1587. That is Jesus. so old. But that's the beauty of being here, though, honestly. It's like every street has something. All right, guys, this is another perfect example here. We just happened to walk on this street and stumbled upon this. This is a historic monument here that dates back to 1045. That's insane. So we're on our way to a boat dinner on the prehistoric Cien River. Right now we're trying to find it, so hopefully we get there in time. We still have an extra, what? Like 30 minutes left or so to catch it, so I hope we make it on time. We'll see. So it looks like it might be over there somewhere. This is my first time trying foie gras. Let's see how this goes. You know what? It's pretty good actually. Very creamy, light texture, and very savory. I actually like it.
Okay guys, so we finished up on our cool boat ride. Just taking in this view. Taking it all in now and guys, it was really really good. The food was delicious. 10 to 10. The appetizer, the entree, the dessert, amazing. The drinks, they even give you a welcome drink that came included with the ride. That was definitely a one in a lifetime experience being on that boat and seeing all the historic buildings. Just being on the river itself, like, I don't know, it's just so serene and definitely something I'll never forget. <laughs> So we're standing in front of the Sacre Coeur Basilica. As you can see, it's pretty lively behind us here. Love the vibes. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get ahead inside. Hopefully we can, but time will tell. And also it's really cool because you have a scenic view of the city. You just take a look there. How cool is that, guys? We're up on top Immersed with the culture, you just feel the love and the vibes here. It's really cool. And another thing, side note, is people are buying these like, what is it called? Like padlocks? Uh, love locks, I think they call it. Yeah, love locks. And then you just put them here. That's the cutest little thing. destination there's a lot of artists out here we definitely want to get ourselves drawn more in a realistic way not a cartoon way but as you can see it's super lively it feels really great to be here so excited to keep venturing out and exploring <laughs> Good morning guys, it's our last final day in Paris. 
but we're gonna go out with a bang. We're gonna enjoy ourselves as much as we can. And to start with, we have some delicious croissants and chocolate croissant and baguettes. And of course, some jam, butter, and orange juice and coffee. Okay, so we're just about ready to go outside and enjoy the rest of our last day here in Paris, unfortunately, so sad. I feel like there's so much to do, but not enough time. We do have to get a COVID test to go back to the US tomorrow well, for our flight. So we're gonna go try to find a pharmacy that can do that for us. And after that, just see what we can do for the rest of the day. Hopefully find more delicious food spots, maybe hit up the Eiffel Tower, do a little shopping. So catch you guys later. So we stepped out to get our COVID test done. Fortunately, they're not there. Well, the people that have to do it aren't there for another hour and a half. So we figured we'll kill some time, explore a little bit. We stumbled upon this place, Matsuri. It's a conveyor belt sushi place. I've never been to one personally, so I really want to try it. So we just sat down and this is what we got so far. Not much yet, but we'll take a look. And also this. We're waiting to order some rosé, of course. So stay tuned. We have a lot more to show you guys. That's perfect flavor. It's nice and tender. Has a nice savoriness to it. With some sweetness too. Almost like a barbecue sauce. Really, really good. Because this is the finishing plates we have left. Did we do a little too much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because we actually shared it together, so it may seem like a lot, but at the same time, I don't know if everybody else has that much. It was still good though, so worth it. <laughs> So we were checking out the mall here in Paris. This is our first mall ever here. And we stumbled upon this amazing dessert section. Honestly, everything looks spectacular. I personally haven't seen something like this in New York. And they have a wide selection of different kinds of desserts. But not only that, they also have a wide selection of different foods that you can choose from. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not hungry right now, but maybe I'll get hungry. As you guys can see, we we're not joking about these breathtaking views. Hey guys, so this is many hours later, well just about a few hours later. But we are back to this area we are at a few days ago. We wanted to eat at this place called the Jacobin, which we ate here the second day, and the food was so good. Anyways, it's closed. Apparently they closed on Mondays and we did not look it up We didn't bother to look it up. Oh my god. So sad. What a shame. But I'm craving Boeuf Bourguignon, which is this French beef stew that's really, really amazing. And we just have to wait like 20 minutes or so, so we're just hanging out. Oops, sorry. That was a little thing on my face. <laughs> But we're just hanging out, killing some time, and you know, the scenery here is very beautiful, so we don't mind staying outside. Yeah, and lucky enough, we found another restaurant by the name of Chef Ferdinand. Mm -hmm. Last table available for us, so hopefully, we get in and we'll show you guys what it's like. This is really random, but I'm doing a bathroom review of the restaurant. The reason I'm doing this is because I've never seen anything like this before. Check it out. Tell me not. It's a sink combined with a toilet. Hey, I guess thumbs up for efficiency. But yeah, it's clean in here, so overall, a uh, good impression.
What is up guys? So it's officially our last day in Paris. No. <laughs> so we're gonna end off the Paris vlogs here and we'll see you guys in New York City. Peace out. <laughs> I know.